things of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days. Hello and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new, my name is Ashley. Today I'm gonna to be doing cleaning around my entire house. There's just a lot of areas that I need to work on. So if you're new, definitely subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and please like this video if you enjoy it. Now let's get straight on into cleaning. Okay, I'm gonna start off in my kitchen because it's the messiest today. I've been trying this technique when I'm cleaning my house just because by the time I get to the last space, I'm normally exhausted. So I kind of start with the messiest part of my house and then work my way down. So that space that I work on last is pretty much clean. I don't have much to do. Um, you could also flip flop this if you have zero cleaning motivation but need to get your house picked up. Start with the least, you know, dirtiest space and work your way up because then you kind of build momentum and motivation motivation as you go. Um, I always get asked how I stay motivated to clean. It just makes me feel better and I'm always trying new techniques. So you don't have to clean your house the exact same way every time. It's fun to change it up and figure out what works for you during that season of life. And so currently this is how I'm cleaning my home. Okay, right here you're gonna see me switch out my light bulbs. We have like rechargeable lights um, and a light outside in our front yard because we can't actually have it wired into our house. And so it works better if I charge them for about three hours. So I just have them in my island light. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those down and then put my prettier bulbs back in. Lighting a light with you. Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring. Nobody loves you as much as now it's time to work on unloading my dishwasher. This used to be such a problem area for me and I've learned just to stick it into my routine. So typically I run it at night when we're done with dinner and after cleanup and then in the morning during breakfast or something, I just unload it and it just keeps my sink clean all day. If I don't unload it, then as we do dishes, we just throw it in the sink and by the end of the day, it's just overloaded and crazy and it's a lot of work. So I've learned if I will just take the time and unload it real fast, it does not take long, then my kitchen stays cleaner all day. Outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just work on scrubbing out my sink. You're gonna see I'm using my Dollar Tree sponge again. Um, I'm kind of going back and forth between those and the silicone sponges. I keep getting a lot of questions about those. I feel like the silicone sponges are good for like pots and pans and dishes and all that, but as far as cleaning out my sink, I feel like I need that rough side of the sponge. My sink wasn't just getting as clean and I feel like there was buildup happening. So I just think it's the perfect balance and that's a good way to separate your sponges so those blue ones can be for cleaning out your sink and then the silicone from can be like cleaning out pots and paints. For Christmas 
I do want to thank eCloth for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be talking about them a little more later on, but I went ahead and grabbed one of their rags. They sent me some new ones, which is so nice. I've had like the same color for so many years because I had these before I even started YouTube, so it's been fun just pulling out this bright like lime green color. Well, you guys will have to let me know. Do you call that green or yellow? I feel like it's a tennis ball, and me and Chase are always up on debate on what color a tennis ball is, so let me know down in the description box. But basically, if you haven't heard about them, um, it's just non-toxic cleaning. All you need is water with their rags. They're designed. So I'm going to leave their link down below in my description box. Um, so if you want to learn more about them or check them out. And like I said, I'll be talking about them here in a little bit later in the video. But I love their products and they're a definite money saver. Okay, it's looking so much better, but I am gonna go ahead and vacuum the floors. And I like to vacuum off these uh, bar stools. I don't know if you can tell, but like crumbs and stuff gets in there. Sometimes I can just shake it out, but other times I like to just go ahead and give it a good vacuum. So I'm gonna work on those two things and the floor in this area. So in case you're wondering, I have flipped my table back. I set it up this way for Thanksgiving. Um, we were hosting my side of the family and I just feel like people fit in there easily. Like there's more space behind you. Um, so when we're having like large crowds over, I like to flip it this way, but I really like my ottoman next to my island. And so I went ahead and just rearranged everything back after everybody left. But I know in yesterday's like home tour video and this one, you're seeing it this way because it was pre-filmed before the holidays hit but I have moved everything back. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the living room. It's not terrible, it never gets too bad in here just because we don't keep a lot in here, but I do like to fluff up the sectional. I'm gonna fluff up my pillows and the blankets. I need to wipe down some of the furniture pieces, vacuum, and then vacuum the sectional. So, let's get this done. I feel like even if you don't need to vacuum off your sectional, I always did it even with Tiger. Tiger doesn't shed. Um, George, the white one, isn't supposed to, but right now he's just losing his puppy coat, so occasionally like I see some white fur. But even when they don't, I feel like it's just a nice way to make your house look super clean because not a lot of people take the time to put like vacuum lines on their sectional. So to me, if you'll just spend a few minutes of fluffing up the cushions and vacuuming it, it's going to make your space look so much cleaner and just put together.
and now I'm putting the pillows back on the sectional. Um, I decided to take two off. I feel like the more pillows and the more blankets you have on it, it does feel like homey and nice and warm, but it also gets super dirty or looking, I guess not dirty, but it looks messy looking. And so I just removed a few of the blankets and then a few of the pillows and it's just kind of easier to keep up and to put them back so it doesn't look as messy all the time. Okay, now I'm gonna use another e-cloth rag and all it has is water on it to wipe down my coffee table. For me, um, this was an investment when I bought these many, many years ago before YouTube. Um, we did not make a lot of money at that time. Money was super tight and we were trying to find ways just to be healthier and to save money. And so I started looking into these products and I knew it was gonna save me on like paper towels and cleaning products, but I had no idea how much it was going to. Like I didn't realize how many paper towels I was going through cleaning my house all the time. And then on top of it, like if you do have a tight budget, you may have to put a little more up front with these to get like a set of them. But after that, you never have to buy a cleaning product again. So this is definitely a good way to save money. They are not that expensive. Other brands are a lot more. So if you're just looking for a way to like cut back and be healthy, definitely click on that link down below. I do have 15% off right now if you use Ashley Cleans. Okay, so I swear by my e-cloth products to clean my house, but I had not been taking advantage of the pet <laughs> rags for them. These things have been a game changer in my house with my two dogs. Um, they sent me a large one for George and then a small one for my Yorkie Tiger. Um, you can see right here, I normally just have a towel thrown on the ground. It always looks dirty, it's always smelly. They sent me this brown one. I personally love it because it goes with my hardwood floors. This is the small size, so you can see are the regular size Tiger's right they're modeling it for you guys but as the boys come in I like to just wipe off their feet because they're wet George's paws are like sponges they soak it up and then Tiger's so little to the ground like even his belly gets wet if he's just walking out to go potty and it's so nice I don't have to wash it immediately like every time I use it I've been going through towels like crazy so it's just so nice that I can leave this out for a few days and it doesn't smell it dries quickly I'm doing less laundry which is another money saver so I've definitely enjoyed having this in my home this is a really great Christmas gift I know all of us are like trying to get our Christmas shopping done and I know we all have those people in our life we can't find something for but they love their pets definitely get them one of these I promise they're gonna love it Okay, now it's dry off time and I did wanna add, when I typically dry him off, I go through several towels. He is just so furry and he's like a sponge, like water just like absorbs into him. And so I'll go through several towels and then they smell horrible. Like as soon as he gets a bath, I have to go start a whole load of laundry just full of the towels. This does not do it and it still had enough dryness that like when I was finished, I even got to clean the floor and wipe out the bathtub and it could have just air dried. Like, 
like there wasn't a smell to it, so I'm super impressed. Okay, he wasn't even as dirty as he normally is, and you can still just see all the dirt in there. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the bathtub clean, and then the rest of our bathroom. And I'm just going to let this air dry here, and then I'll wash it later. Now that I have a George clean and my bathtub, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my master bedroom. The bed's already made, but I have like mirrored nightstands and we keep like drinks out at night. So I need to wipe those off. I need to wipe down the new fireplace. When I say new, it's just been flip flop from another room. It's getting dusty in here. So I need to wipe that down. Vacuums, basically I'm just gonna do a real quick speed clean of our master bedroom. Adore him, come let us adore. Okay, so the product now, I'm just using like the window cleaning set. So basically you get that lighter green one and you get that one wet and you wipe down mirrors, glass, you'll never see later. I use it on my fireplace. I feel like you can mix and match these if you want to, but I'll wipe down like this, for instance, my mirror nightstand. And then I'm taking that green one. It also comes in blue, but it's like the polishing cloth and it dries it and leaves it streak free. So you're seeing right here, I'm cleaning glass or mirrored or anything like that with water and so I'm not spending any money on products so like I said if you have a tight budget or you know a couple that just got married or they don't make a lot of money or they just had a baby and they're being careful with cleaning supplies I just feel like this is a great gift for this time of year for like young couples for anybody in general but especially for people that just don't have a lot of money on products because that was me not too long ago I just did not have money to spend on fancy products so I wanted to buy something that was gonna last and save me money in the long run Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed Okay, and here is the final look of how my bedroom turned out. It's looking so much better. To hold you close, forget about everything Okay, now I'm gonna head into my laundry room and you're gonna see me kind of start a load of laundry and speed clean this laundry room. For whatever reason, it has been my catch-all lately. Um, it used to not be that way. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the time of year, I'm busy, and it's a room I can put stuff in and then walk away. But I always get questions on how I wash my e-cloth, so I just wanted to show you real fast. I just throw them all in the washer. I use a little bit of detergent and hot water, and that's it, and I stick them in the dryer when I'm done. Um, they say not to use softener. I've done it just a few times and it hasn't like hurt them, but definitely don't do it every time. If you think about it, just throw your towels in a separate wash um, and they'll hold up for many, many, many years. Okay, 
Okay, you along with my neighbors are probably gonna think I'm crazy, but I recently put a rug out on our front porch, which I'm loving. It's just like so nice and homey. I feel like we just like added onto our house. We have like our little nightstand out there with chairs um, and it is getting colder, so we're not gonna be out there much more, but I do like to vacuum it occasionally because it's still like a rug or carpet outside and thank goodness for cordless vacuum so I don't have to like plug it in with a cord, but I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum that rug just real quickly. Now I'm gonna grab my e-cloth mop and this is the only mop you guys have ever seen me clean in my cleaning video. It's the only one I own. I absolutely love this. You just get the mop head wet. You can see I just got it really wet underneath the water. I'm gonna squeeze it out so that it doesn't like run my wood floors. You guys always get worried with the water. You don't leave it that wet so it doesn't matter. And then it just Velcros to the mop. And then I just walk around and I mop my entire house. I always get asked, do I re-get it wet? I don't for my area, for my size house. If you have a huge house, you might have to. They also have another mop that has like the water spray or like nozzle attached. But this way has just always been so easy and convenient to me. I've never invested in that one. Um, I'm just super happy with this. So definitely look into this product. Like I said, it's a little bit of an investment. But then after that, you never have to buy mop solution again. Think about that. Think how many years you're going to be alive and you have this and you don't have to buy any cleaning supplies. Plus, your floors get so much cleaner with water. They don't get that sticky film. They don't get dirty as often. I feel like you stick to them when there's product and it holds more dirt on them or where it's water. It's just cleaning them and leaving a nice shine. So I cannot say enough good things about this mop. I've sold so many of them and I've never once had a bad review. So thanks again to eCloth for sponsoring today's video. I'll have their link down below in the description box with the promo code as well. And we did it, we finished. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little exhausted. I hope you guys got some really good cleaning motivation or I hope you got a really good break and just got to kick up your feet and relax. Either way, I'm happy. Um, don't forget to check out eCloth. I seriously do love them. I've been using them for years um, and my products all look brand new. So they're a great company and have great quality. Um, you can use Ashley Cleans for 15% off right now. Definitely use that while you can because it'll eventually drop back down to 10% and sometimes I don't even get a promo code. So this is the time to buy. This is a great Christmas gift. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to both channels right here because we're putting out at least four videos a week, possibly more that it's December. Um, we're trying to do Vlogmas. We're trying, we're and trying to be a family. So definitely just make sure you're subscribed because videos will be going up all week long on both channels. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.